When will graphic designers finally get the respect that they deserve? So I saw this post in one of the graphic design groups that I'm in and I decided to react to it. Hey everybody, Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here we make videos like this. If that is something that sounds like you're interested, kindly consider subscribing. So the disrespect that some graphic designers have been receiving it's very, I don't know the very adjective to use it, but sometimes it's very galling, it's very maddening, vexatious, it's just exasperating. I don't know the adjective to use, but then how do you send this proposal, this kind of thing? Let me read it from here for you. I need someone who can do a logo for me. My company needs a logo designer. Please, this is what they are looking for. 50 samples of graphic design logos with 2D colors with reddish brown colored and front size of 12. After that, if I like your work, then we go straight to the contract. You have three days only to finish this project and submit it for reviewing. <sighs> You are asking someone to design one logo, 50 samples of that logo within a matter of three days. That is not a problem. But to go on to say that they are having like three days to submit all of this whole project and then you are going to review it and after that, if you like the design, then you go straight to the contract. I mean, who does that? Like, what sort of disrespect is this? Now, the problem is I see that many people or many clients try to disrespect graphic designers, not because like they intentionally know that they are doing it. Many people don't even know the core concept of design, the design process, what actually goes on into design. I think people do this because they think that the graphic design process is just very quick, simple and straightforward. Like you take your machine, you sit down and then you try to come up with a logo and then you are going to design like 50 logo samples within a matter of three days. What the clients don't actually know is that they are not actually paying for the time that you are using it to design. Because someone might think that why do I pay for like $10 for five minutes work or 10 minutes work? But what they don't know is that they are not paying for the time spent in making the design. Rather, they are paying for the number of years the person has invested in learning. Someone has invested like 10 years experience, like they have 10 years experience in doing what they do and that is why they can do it in 10 minutes. You seen able to run like 9 seconds of sprint it's because he was able to practice or train for decades, train for years, train for hours and that is why you could do that in seconds. So what clients should actually understand is that they are not paying for the number of hours or minutes people spent in doing their works, but they are paying for the knowledge and then the number of years that they have invested in doing that. Now, you see, I I've read a quote that says that if you really think that paying for a high design is very costly, try a very cheap design. Designers make an impact in whatever product or whatever design that they touch on. If you get a very good designer to work on your product packaging for you, it sells. If you get a designer to work on your flyers for you for adverts, it actually sells. So why don't you actually invest the money in hiring a designer that will do the job for you instead of going for something very cheap that in the long run is going to affect your business. Designers makes an impact in whatever product or design that they do. Clients should get this. Now, I posted this screenshot on Twitter and then the creatives came ranting at it. Let me read some of the tweets for you. Okay, so this is coming from Kwesi Mufasa and then he says that this will be my response. This is very doable. For the 50 logos requested, here is an invoice. 1,500 CDs per design and that's on discount. To begin designing, kindly make a 70% down payment, non-refundable. If you like it, pay the 30% and remove to a contract. This is a very simple response. He's going to charge 1,500 CDs for each of the sample, not all the samples, but each of the samples, and he had to make 70% before he even starts the work. 
it's not according to what the person said that after reviewing everything and then he likes it then he's going to leave no it doesn't actually make sense okay so this is coming from sandy amponsa one and then he says that 50 samples of logo in three days before contract discussion it's the audacity for me i mean the the impudence the gust someone has the audacity to actually say this and that one is also saying that a human phone no, no, I, I can't really believe it a human phone being and then this is coming from romeo he says wicked inconsiderate employer i don't think this is even coming from like renowned company or something this might be actually an independent work and cosmos anyansu inram says that the impudence such gross disrespect i think the retweet the quoted tweet it's what is really funny about this whole issue michael parry says that first you'd have to review or preview my portfolio if you like it we head into a contract if not you move on to the next designer i think this is one of the things that designers should actually practice if you come to me for a design i have so many works that i've done already i'm going to send you my portfolio if you like it then we move into a contract if you don't you move on to the designer it's that very simple okay the next one says that the nonsense that some of these clients bring to creatives is so annoying sometimes you just receive a message and then like you just you just move on just move on so that you don't insult the person so i think these are some of the rants that people are saying on the post on twitter i'll leave the link in the description if you want to read the whole rant and then you want to add yours to it but the question is are these rants going to solve the problem and of course the answer is no what then do we have to do i personally think that as creatives we would have to take this on as a different level we have to see this from a different perspective what can we do then i think as individual designers what we can do is we need to create value for ourselves by sharpening our knowledge and our skills now you don't walk into kfc or pizza man and then he asks to taste some of their food before deciding to buy who does that no one so i, I think the value that kfc and pizza man has created for themselves gives them that opportunity that no one can walk into the office and ask for a taste before they decide to buy so as a designer the more you sharpen your skills and the more you sharpen your knowledge the more you create value for yourself i don't think clients can propose some of these or send these proposals to people like chris do that is because of the value that they've created for themselves that is because of the skill set how much they've built their skill set also as a team or as a profession or as a group or as whatever designers we need to come to that knowledge of trying to educate the young ones the upcoming ones on some of these things because you see the problem is sometimes you are not willing to take these 50 samples of logo design it in three days before contract is discussed but the one that is coming up right now or the one that is desperate for the money the one that is desperate for the job they go into it and these clients may see that they always have alternatives in, and so they will keep doing that but if you're able to educate ourselves and educate the young ones that are coming on some of these things i think the, the whole of this brouhaha will be solved okay yeah so how do you feel about the whole of this issue what are your thoughts about this whole thing and what is your general thoughts about the whole idea of graphic designers being underappreciated underpaid and undervalued for all the value that they provide to the industry i would definitely love to hear your thoughts and your ideas in the comment section and if you want to join the conversation on twitter you can follow me at say underscore innocent and then join the conversation thank you so very much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video by the way do you think that we should keep creating content like this because what do you think about the whole of this setup do you think content like this will be watched by you let me know your thoughts in the comment section i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye cut cuts.